the Life Burst Podcast, a We Cross Podcast, and this time we're going to be talking about a set review. Uh, I'm Andrew, by the way, we should mention that. Uh, we're going to be talking about the black cards in Glowing Diva, as well as all the starter decks. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, we're going to start with our level ones per always. I'll always say that the uh, multicolored cards are staples, so you should think about playing them at some point in your life. Um, moving right along into level ones, we got Azrael Doomed Angel. Uh, its enter ability is uh, colorless, colorless, add target angel from your trash to your hand. Its life burst ability is add target angel from your trash to your hand or put it on your field. Uh, it's a good level one in an angel deck. Angel decks are either usually white and green or they're blue and black primarily. Uh, sometimes they mix uh, in different distributions, but uh, this is like kind of one of the times where you're like, oh yeah, yeah, this is a good, this is a very playable uh, angel for the angel deck. Uh, playable, not stable, but playable. Um, we've got, oh god, I don't even, Slagathashish. Dude, I have no clue. Doomed General! Uh, 2,000 power, it has an auto ability whenever this attacks. If there are 20 or more cards in your trash, target Signy in your opponent's field gets negative 3,000 power till end of turn. There's not really a self-mill deck. Uh, self-mill is a little scary. Uh, is it any good? Uh, probably not. I would say unplayable. I wouldn't necessarily play this card when there are other ways to give. Uh, blue, black actually struggles a little bit with getting early game removal, um, but there are other ways to do it, so I wouldn't necessarily pull that one off. Uh, we've got Ball, Doomed Evil. It's a demon. Uh, its enter ability is put the top three cards in your deck to your trash. Its life burst ability is you can pay black uh, colorless. If you do, target signal on your opponent's field gets negative 12,000 power until end of turn. Um, this is a good card. It's got the demon text, which is relevant for self-mill decks sometimes. Uh, it's black in the color that wants self-mill. It does the utility job of actually dumping some self-mill. And it has a okay life burst effect, um, especially a life burst effect that you can use earlier on, which black, again, lacks a little bit. Um, so I would play it. It's not necessarily a staple, but it's highly playable, and it stays highly playable for a while. So yeah, if you're looking into self-milling yourself, and you want to be looking into self-milling yourself specifically for, um, oh gosh, where is it on here? Uh, another card, here we go, uh, this card, then... Yeah, it's playable, and we'll talk about this card in a second. All right. Uh, Fra, Fra Jug. Oh, God. More of these names I don't know. I never pronounce them. I just say lightly armed every time I see it. Um, it's a attack power 2000. Its enter ability is target. Signy on your opponent's field gets negative 2000 for a colorless enter. Um, it's not quite as good as uh, Romel, but it does a kind of passable job. I would say it's playable, not highly playable, not uh, barely playable, just playable. Um, you can use two of this in your deck if you're like, I just need to get some early game interaction. Sure, it, no one would begrudge you for it. It could lane clear too, which is pretty good. Uh, the only problem is it, it does, 3,000 is really the number that you want to be at for level ones. I mean, 5,000 is the level you want to be at for level ones, uh, but... 3,000 will get a swath of them. 2,000 will get a minority of them. It is just, just slightly worse. Um, we've got Horologium, a uh, natural planet. Whenever the Signy attacks, reveal a top card of your deck. Then if that card is a level 1 Signy, you may add target level 1 Signy without a guard from your trash to your hand. If you added a Signy to your hand this way, you discard a card. So it's not card advantage. When you do it, it's basically a little bit of card selection specifically from your trash. I have never found the need to play this card. I don't think even if you were in dedicated self-mill deck, you'd want to play this card. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is unplayable. Um, and that is all of our level 1s. Moving on to our level 2s. We've got Gap! Doomed Angel. Um, I didn't even realize it was an angel. Uh, it's an interesting card. Uh, when it enters, you can put target white, red, blue, green, it basically every color but black, um, level one Signy from your trash to the field, mind you, to the field. So it lane closes. There's an interesting combo with this and the bear that I talked about from the green review, where you can kind of pull this out of the enter zone 
right? And then put the bear back into the lane closure. Uh, and it, it does this weird interaction that you can do. So, and you can also pull the bear out of the trash um, from from this. So, so they grab each other a lot, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know if it's really all that worth it, but it is an interesting combo interaction that it's, I, I need to at least state. Uh, it has the pretty okay life burst ability of paying a black colorless. If you do target Signy on your opponent's field, it gets 12,000 or less. Um, it's 5,000 power. Uh, is this card any good? It's got the angel subtype, so it's it's okay. Uh, its ability is okay, and but it requires you to be playing more than just black in your deck, especially black level one, so it has a deck building restriction. I like it. I call it uh, somewhere between barely playable and playable, um, and it will stay that way if you're playing angel decks, but then get worse if you're not playing angel decks as the time goes along. Um, moving right along to some more level twos. We've got Palimon, Doomed Evil. It's a demon. Whenever this Signy attacks, you may put a Signy on your field to the trash. If you do, you may give target Signy on your opponent's field. Negative 5,000 until end of turn. I like it less. Uh, you're depriving that Signy from being able to attack uh, through an open lane if you do that um, because you're, you're doing it during the attack phase. So either you used it and you attacked and vanished your opponent's Signy or you're basically not doing that and you are not attacking either and you've just caused an open lane on your own field for the opponent to exploit. Um, so I don't love this card. It can be used. It's Sacrifice Outlet for Demon stuff. Eh. I'd pass on it personally. Let's call it barely playable. All right, Graham, high armed, 5,000 power. Uh, its ability is you can pay a colorless and target Signy on your opponent's field gets negative 3,000 until end of turn. Lancelot, this card is not, so uh, don't play this. Super passable. Um, then we've got dagger type, Zwei. It has an action. You can target a Signy on your opponent's field. It gets negative 2,000 power until end of turn. If you have 15 or more cards in your trash, it gets negative 5,000 power until end of turn. Again, Lancelot, this is not. It's passable. I would not play it personally, so I would just kind of not play this card. All right, we got Corvus, Natural Planet. It's a vanilla, has a life burst effect of uh, choose target. When it, sorry, your opponent chooses a Signy on their side of the field and then puts it into their owner's trash. Basically, they sacrifice a Signy. 10,000 power. You don't have control over that, uh, what they're sacrificing. So I'm going to go ahead and say not good. So yeah, level twos in bl black. Not very great. You might have to find other stuff. Uh, moving right along to our level threes, we've got uh, Econus type Dre. Um, when this Signy is vanished, you may pay colorless, colorless. If you do, the Signy that was in front of this gets negative 10,000 power till end of turn. Um, you also have the enter ability of paying a black, and it, a Signy can get negative 3,000 power for each different color, so up to 9,000 uh, each color on the field. Uh, I actually like this card quite a bit. I think if you're going down a little bit more of a rainbow route with the Musica deck, which I think is probably the better way to go, this card is great, and it's also defensive on the next turn, because if they get rid of it, then you can probably kill whatever's in front of it um, that got rid of it. I've got a lot of people with this in the future, so I think level. I think this is a pretty good one. It is playable and stays playable for the future of... Um, these games. Uh, it's never super exciting, but yeah, playable. We've got Anna, Doomed Evil. This has the Rise ability, but it, to be clear here, the cool thing with this Rise ability is you can Rise it on any Signy, not just a black Signy. Um, it's 13,000 power. It has a good life burst, which is add a target guard from your trash to your hand or put it on your field. Uh, and then it has enter ability of colorless target Signy on your opponent's field gets negative 8,000 power till end of turn. Um, it stays playable uh, as like a two of in the future. It's playable right now as a four of in your black decks if you're looking to try to get some more removal. Um, it's a good card. It's it's not necessarily a staple, but it stays very highly playable. Um, moving right along. Dark NG, fully armed. Uh, it has a, an ability of whenever this 
Whenever the power of a Signia on your opponent's field becomes zero or less, you can enter charge one, and then it has the ability to spend black. Uh, target Signia on your opponent's field gets negative 5,000 power till end of turn. Um, so it fuels itself and basically has a free removal in that case. And then all of your, you're looking for cards like Anna or Aquinas that allows you to pay one enter, remove something, get your enter back. Um, it is literally an engine. Um, is this card good? Yes, it's good in basically all black decks. I would say it's a staple. Um, it's just a overall good deck if you're looking, if you're looking for filling out your three drops in black and you are struggling to figure something out, you're probably fine putting this in and it will do the job for you. Landling type Dre. Uh, it's a diagram, Signy. Its diagram as ability is whenever it attacks, you may put the top five cards of your own deck or the opponent's deck into the trash. So diagram is uh, a self-mill deck or a mill your, your opponent's deck or sometimes both. So... It is a good ability to be able to do either one of those. Um, target Signy on your opponent's field gets negative 5,000 power for the cost of a black. And if you have 20 or more cards in your own trash, then it gets negative 10,000. Uh, it's very good removal. It's If you're playing Diagram, you're probably going to want to play this. If you're a self-mill deck and you're not playing Diagram, you probably want to play this. Um, outside of that, it's not playable. I'd say highly playable, not not staple, unlike uh, Dark Energy, which is probably a staple. Um, so yeah, use it as you will. It'll be great in your uh, diagram decks. It's a staple there. Uh, and I believe that's all your level threes. No, there's one more. Um, Kazaki Code Maze. It has the life burst ability of add target signal without card from your trash or your hand to put it on the field. Its auto ability is when the signal is put into the trash by a cost or an effect aka this is a sacrifice outlet you may pay um you may pay colorless if you do put target level two black signy from your trash to the field down um it has the enter ability of put a target guard put a car target card without guard from your trash to your enter zone and it costs uh colorless is this card any good? No, I don't think so. Uh, you want the the thing, your sacrifice fodder to basically be level 1s, level 2s, so that you can sacrifice them early and not feel bad about it. Not your level 3s. And your level 3s, you have way better options between uh, literally uh, Acornus, Anna, Dre, and Dark Engie. You, you, you're, 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 that 3 Signy is bursting at the seams with good cards that you don't need to be playing this. Let's talk about spells. Um, you have a team spell here, if I could ever freaking find it, uh, called Enervating Melody. Uh, target Signy on your opponent's field gets negative 6,000 power. If you have three diagram, it gets negative 8,000 power. It targets an up Signy with a life burst and gives it negative 15,000 power. It's insane. Um, it is all at the cost of, uh, by the way, a black. Um, this card's good. If you're playing black, I would probably play this in just an average black deck just to get some of the some extra removal in there at a cheap cost. Uh, at Diagram, it is more playable. Negative 6,000 is not as good as negative 8,000, clearly, uh, but it will do the job that you're trying to do, which is lane open, so I would consider playing this. Um, is it a staple? E no, it's highly playable. Um, Under Attractive is another card that exists and is something. Um, it is a weird one. It costs black colorless. If it affect that your Signy, that's a very important part, your Signy would minus the power of a Signy on your opponent's field, that amount that is minus is doubled. If you have 25 or more cards in your trash, then you can add target Signy without a guard from your trash to your hand. Its life burst ability is at target upped Signy on your opponent's field gets negative 15,000 power till end of turn. Um, Unless I was a self-mill deck, I would not play this. I don't think getting a under-attractive for the rest of the turn is all that great. It is okay in some decks. San Baca, for example, this effect is probably worth playing as a little bit of. Um, and San Baca also is kind of a self-mill deck, so you can get both of the, the, the worlds into it. But outside of that, it's pretty unplayable. Um... It's got a cool effect, so it's going to draw a lot of people in, but I think it's a trap. 
and that is your black. If you guys have any questions or comments about any of these cards or disagree with me at all, feel free to comment below. And if you want to see more set reviews, more podcast stuffs, feel free to subscribe. It's free. It's there. And I'm going to stop recording now. Bye!